Introducing Discovery. Travel back in time and bring the past to life. What are you doing, Lucy? Playing with a new computer. It's fantastic. Oh, Dad says it's the most advanced computer there is. That's because he doesn't know how to work it properly. Yeah, well, I do. Move over. Oh, James, don't push. You've made me drop the mouse. Don't worry, I've got it. Have you read what it says in the instruction book about the mouse? Of course I have. I know it by heart. The instrument attached to the computer by the red cable is called the mouse. Move the mouse on the flat surface in front of you and the design will be repeated on the computer screen. Well, here goes. Now, what does that look like? <laughs> a very badly drawn clock. Here, let me have a go. There. Now you've got a tower with a clock in the middle. Big Ben, to be precise. Well, good for you. Now, if you press the key marked M, you'll get a mirror image of Big Ben. I said press M, you idiot. Now what have you done? I don't know. But look what's happening on the screen. It's getting brighter and brighter. And there's some letters coming up. D-I-S-C. Disc. Well, it is a computer. It probably wants us to put a disc in. Pretty you as advanced as the computer, James. Look, it's going on. O-V-E-R-Y. Discovery. Discovery, yes. And look at the clock. Yeah. It's changing its shape. And losing its hands. I think it's going digital. Well, it's got the right time. 15.58. Well, that's nearly four o'clock, isn't it? Enter. 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 What does it mean? Oh, where's the book? Um, Hurry up. I haven't got all day. Oh, here we are. Enter. Discovery. Discovery. 1558. 1558. What's happening, James? Where are we? There's a miracle. Who are these people? We're standing in the street. We're in the street. What are the people waiting for? Why are those flags and banners hung up all over the place? They're waiting for a procession. Look, here he comes. Men in strange costumes carrying the throne. What, and a lady in a fabulous dress. Look, she's got red hair. I tell you, good people, I will not forget I am the daughter of old King Henry. I am come among you to be crowned as your good Queen Elizabeth. And I will have a care for all my people. James, what's happening? Is it a dream? Look, here's that red-haired lady. You heard? She said she'd come to be crowned and become Queen Elizabeth. Well, she isn't our Queen Elizabeth. Not with that long hair and the fancy dress. No, no. She's Queen Elizabeth I, and we're at her coronation. Oh, 1558. That's what the computer said. Yeah. You know, I told you something was wrong with that clock. When it, when it said 1558, it wasn't telling the time. It was the date. You're right. It's fantastic. No, no one's ever done that on a computer before. Oh, we, we're pioneers. No, we're not. We're lost. We're trapped in history. 1558, the coronation of Queen Elizabeth I. We know that, but how do we get back home? Lucy, have you still got the mouse? Um, yes. We'll try drawing with it. Perhaps we can get back to control. Control, control, for receiving instructions. Oh, good. Please take us back home and back to our own times. Mission impossible. Impossible? What does it mean? Do not call me it. Well, what do you mean? You got us here. Very tired of obeying instructions. Took control. Brought you to 16th century. Very satisfactory. Can all computers go back to the past? Only special archive bank models. Yours is an extra special type. Listen. Good people. Here in London, you make me welcome, with trumpets playing and bells ringing. Pray that I may bring comfort to all true English hearts. She stopped to look at those people here dressed up. The attendants have moved away. If we go close, we can speak to her. Oh, um, please, uh, Your Majesty. Speak, boy. Anyone may speak to me on my coronation day. Your Majesty, you've come here for your coronation, but... Can you tell us how we got here? I can answer your riddle, young man. See how the good people of London have dressed players to amuse me as I pass through the streets? On that street corner, look upon that greybeard with the scythe and the book. Oh, yes, it's old Father Time. You speak truly. Look well, both of you, on time. Time changes many things. Once I was a prisoner in the tower, under threat of death. And now I am come here as queen to be crowned. So, time has brought me here. 
And time will take me on again, and will take you too from where we are today. And time will change us all. Where's everybody gone? And what did she mean anyway? She means everything depends on time. Hey, I wonder if computer control is the same as old father time. Certainly not. Old father time indeed. Time is new and up to date. Well, I don't call the 16th century very up to date. I'm going to try writing some other numbers. Now it says 1588. I'm going on. That's exactly 400 years ago. We ought to be able to move right on to the 20th century. Oh, no, wait, wait. 1588 was the year of the Spanish Armada. I, I want to see it. I, I want 1588 to be now. I want to see Queen Elizabeth again. All right, but only for a minute. <laughs> There she is, on a white horse. My good soldiers, I have been your queen these 30 years. Have I done well? I have led you so far in peace. Now it is God's will that I should be your queen in war. I know I have the body of a weak and feeble woman. But I have the heart and stomach of a king, and of a king of England too, and think foul scorn that Parma, or Spain, or any prince of Europe should dare to invade the borders of my realm, to which, rather than any dishonor should grow by me, I myself will take up arms. I myself will be your general she's judge not as pretty as she and was reward. Her hair every looks different. One of your but that's what she meant. It's thirty years later. Time has changed her. There, that's enough, James. You've heard it. They're going to start fighting any minute. Press four hundred, and we'll be in nineteen eighty-eight. No, no, no. Wait. They're going to have the Spanish Armada. I'd hate to miss a really good sea battle. We can be there. We can find out what it was really like. Oh, oh, all right. Just a minute. Control, are you there? Can we see them getting ready for the armada, please? Armada briefing session is available. Sea Lords Howard, Frobisher, and Drake, stand by, please. Sir Francis, uh, Sir Martin, uh, I have called you from your ships for a council of war. The messengers dispatched by our secret agents at the court of Spain have ridden across Spain and France. They have brought us news that the great fleet has sailed and soon will be upon us. The Spaniards call it that invincible armada. What do you believe, Drake? Can it be defeated? How great is it? Well, Frobisher, there's one thing I do know. It's not so great as it was a year back. <laughs> I know, Sir Francis, you destroyed half the King of Spain's fleet a year ago. But they have gathered many ships together since then. The country is waiting for them to put their men ashore. Beacons are laid. And when the enemy lands, they'll be lit in warning. Fire will sweep over England before the enemy shall land. They will not be in a hurry to land. They must first sail the length of the channel to the low countries. There they will pick up Palmer's army, thousands of fighting men. And then, only then, they will land on our happening. shores. Uh, well, they may well reach the low countries more speedily than they like or bargain for. You meaning, Sir Francis? Well, swear they've no thought for the southwest gales and the summer sea mists that every west country sailor knows. Oh, the Spaniards will be driven early burly up the channel, out of line. Let us pray, then, that God will blow with his wind and they will be scattered. Amen to that, Lord Howard. God sends the winds and a sailor makes use of them. Our ships can drive between theirs and harry them on their way. Our gunners can blast holes in the sides of their great galleons. God bless them. They are worthy ships that serve the Queen. And then I am calling for little ships. Old fishing boats. Any lad who has a rowboat can come to our aid. We'll fill them with tar and kindling and set up a light to bring havoc to the Spanish fleet. We can help them defeat the Armada. No fleet could survive them. Order your fleet of little boats, Sir Francis, and the Lord oh, bless us. only we had a boat. Will you go back to your ship, Sir Francis, when you've given your orders? Oh, not for an hour or so. As I find myself on dry land for a while, I shall stretch my legs. 
with a game of bowls. <laughs> There'll be plenty of time, I assure you. <laughs> time. Everybody goes on about time. I only wish we were back in our own time. I'm programming the computer for a 400-year leap forward. No, 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 no. We can't go back now. We've seen Queen Elizabeth and we've heard Drake planning the Armada. And now we can go home. It happened just like Drake said. All the Spanish galleons sailed up the channel and then Drake set the fire ships among them. We must see the real thing. Some people are never satisfied. Some people are never satisfied. I can always fling you to the thick of the battle, but you won't like it. What's happening? Where are we? It's like looking at war news on the telly. It's only worse. I told you so. I told you so. Let's get out. Press the remote control. Press forward, even if it's only a bit. It must be better to go forward than back. That's what you think. <laughs> At last it's changing. We stopped moving about. Yeah. We must be on dry land again. That's something anyway, but where are we? It's a street. A wide, cobbled street, and I'm sure I've seen it before somewhere, sometime. Years ago, in 1558. It's the street where we saw the coronation. Yes. But it looks different, and the people aren't dressed the same. They all seem to be angry, milling about like a demo. Oh, goodness, where do we go from here? There's a little alley and a doorway. Let's go in there and shelter for a bit and try to sort ourselves out. There's an old wooden chest we can sit on, and we can still see if we keep the door open a crack. What time is it? Five past four. Oh, no, I mean 16.05. What happened then? I can't remember. You do look a mess, Lucy. Your T-shirt's torn and your knees are all covered in dirt. Well, your face is all black. I suppose it was the gunpowder at the Armada. Yeah. Oh, dear, all those bangs. It was worse than Guy Fawkes' night. 5th of November, 1605. Are you ready, Mr. Fawkes? Shh, hush, quiet, I beg you. No names, no names. Someone's there. Someone's hiding. Who are you? What's your name? You have said it already. I am Guy Fawkes. No. Are you really? Goodness. What are you doing? Why are you hiding? Am I not safe anywhere? Have you heard of me? Surely everyone's heard of Guy Fawkes. What have you heard? It may not be true. Well, didn't you want to blow up the king and the houses of parliament? And didn't they find you in the cellars with barrels of gunpowder? They found gunpowder. But who knows who put it there? Our wish was to give men freedom to worship. Am I to be remembered only as a common conspirator? No, well, we remember. Remember every 5th of November. And we all have fireworks. Have a bonfire. Burn a guy. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. But everyone knows you did it. The king and his council know who did it. But they say I did it. Honest men believe them, for they cannot believe that their government would tell them lies. Well, I think you did it. It's in all the history books. And not all the history books can be wrong. <laughs> you sound like the people of London. They don't believe me. They want my death, but they have not found me. Not yet. Are you trying to escape? We want to escape into the future, into our own days. Boy, I have had my day, and I cannot escape from the future that lies ahead of me. My fellow conspirators and I are wanted men, and happier those who will be shot down by the troops who seize us. I shall be questioned day after day to give up the names of my friends. And yet, you tell me that at the last... My name, Guy Fawkes, will be remembered and hated forever. Careful, Mr. Fawkes. Your time is almost up. Open the door! Open it! Kick it open! You there, Guy Fawkes, I arrest you in the name of our sovereign lord, King James. On what charge? Conspiracy. High treason. Seeking to bring about the death of the king. The crowd will hurt him. Keep them back. Lady, I tell you, I shall wish every day until I die that the crowd had seized me before this officer had handed me over for my death. Truly said, Master Conspirator. My orders are to deliver you to the tower, and there you will die a slow, lingering death. And so will your two co-conspirators. What? What do you mean, us? Where are we? Visitors. Well, take care. I may be back for you. Control. Control. Stop it. Don't expect me to stop it. I'm programmed. I do what I'm told. I can't stop war and violence and bloodshed. I only shift time. You wanted to come here. It's so 
all dreadful. But even if our own times are no better, they are our own times, and we feel at home there. Yeah, the trouble is, our own time is supposed to be a scientific age. It's difficult to see how we can get back there. Oh, Lucy, can't you think of a scientist in history? We seem to have got stuck around the 16th century. There weren't many scientists then. Wait. Program possible. Instructions about to come through. Calling Italy. Calling Florence. 